Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And today I, I stopped Nick Van Wyken here from running the combine. And Nick, thanks for uh, um, talking with me today. Oh, well, you're very welcome. But Nick Van Wyken, Van Wyken Farms in Ottagamie yep. County. And you're one of the first combines that I actively see out um, this season combining winter wheat. Mm -hmm. and, and Nick, tell me a little bit, how is it combining so far? It's a little tough, it's a little slow going. Um, there's a lot of straw out here. Um, yields are really, really good. Um, well above 100 bushel an acre area. So we're, we're pretty happy. Okay, that was one of my questions is uh, yield, you know, over 100 bushels. I made a lot of bets with farmers that they'd be yielding over 100 bushels this year. So thank you for yeah. that. Um, big concern with farmers that do have wheat with that dry weather we had three weeks ago or for four or three weeks is a test weight. Well, what's the test weight been doing? So far off of this field, we're doing really well, just under 60 pound test weight, a lot of 59s, lot upper 58s, low 59s, um, doing really well. Right, and that's great. But you guys do have some inputs on in this field, correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So what, did, what did you actually do to get this crop to this point? Um, well, it started last year with a great fall. We were able to get it in early. Um, all winter was great for us, but then this year it really started the work. We uh, split up our applications of nitrogen <clears throat> with a new setup of stream bars that we did. And then uh, we had a flag leaf fung fungicide application mm -hmm. and uh, a second one for head scab. Perfect. And then there, it's obviously responded very well. Yep. So Nick, you know, combining wheat can be a little tricky, you know, with, with some of the moisture and humidity in the air. Um, and we're actually later in the afternoon today. And why, why do we wait till the afternoon to combine today? Well, usually overnight we pull into a, the, we lose our wind, the air gets a lot more humid, more dense, just kind of gathers on that straw and you can't get it through the machine here. It just pretty much, and then it, the grain will actually soak up a lot of moisture also. So the, the moisture of the grain will become a little bit wetter. Yep. So speaking of moisture, what is the moisture that you're harvesting the, the wheat uh, at? Right now we're a little above what we'd ideally like it at at 13. We're at 14, 14, five, but it's, definitely not out of the realm of really good running. Yeah. So why are you running right now? Some some good weather coming up. Yeah, we got some really good weather coming up. Uh, we don't want to have it lay down because it's all standing really nice and it's it's going through pretty good and we just don't want to run into that where it lays flat because then it, the stalks take longer to dry out during the day and it becomes a real miserable nightmare for us. Right, and uh, tell me a little bit about the combining with uh, you know the straw maybe a little on the tough side. Yep. Is there any special settings that you're doing? So I got our rotor in this machine is running a little bit faster than I normally would for the amount of straw and then the toughness of the straw, um, 50 to 100 RPMs. Uh, sieve settings and fan settings are all about the same, but I do have the header running a little bit faster to try and gather it and keep it spaced out and feathered out. And it looks like you're doing a great job with, with this. Um, Finally, Nick, you know, I, I've been telling farmers for the last couple of months that we should probably be marketing some of our crop, you know. Did you guys uh, partake in any of the, the pre-selling? So my brother and I got a pretty strong philosophy in if we're making money at something and we can see a profit, we'll sell 50% of our crop or our guaranteed bushels, what we should grow. Um, so yes, we, we definitely have some marketed. So and probably a, more than $6 a bushel locally here. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Nick, you know, thank you so much for your time today and stopping the combine to talk to me. Really appreciate your time. You're very welcome. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen. <laughs>